Hey guys, it's me Maple of Course of Course, and in this video I am playing Risk of Rain 2 as sort of by request, and also because I just wanted to record something easy without trying to remember where I left off with Slime Rancher and doing all that. I don't know why this is just less intimidating. Um, who should I play? That's a good question. But, um, I have not been uploading for a good reason, actually. Usually I don't have a good reason for uploading, but I have not been uploading because, well, life is busy, but also because I've been very sick. I got, I don't know, the day after Christmas, I got unbelievably sick. Well, it started slow, but suddenly, and over time it just kept getting worse and worse until um, last Sunday, which I think was January 1st. Um, it got so bad that I, it was terrible. I had to go to urgent care and all that. And um, yeah, it's finally Friday. And yesterday I went to work and today I'm finally feeling pretty much back to, to normal. Um, I think I'm gonna play the Void Fiend. He's just so much fun. Or at least he was when I played him last. It's been a while. Um, I could play with the artifacts. Yeah, why not? I have more fun with the artifacts on. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to stop getting sick. Moving across the country should have made me um, a bit more cautious, and I should have gotten a flu shot. There's no good reason why I didn't. Just, you know, lazy and uh, still don't have a car of my own yet. We're working on that, though. Even while I was sick, I uh, stupidly went to a car dealership or two or three. Only one of them did we actually check out the cars, though. I'm looking at a couple of really crappy cars, but, uh, I mean, whatever I can get that I can just buy in cash and not, you know, worry about will save me a lot of money in the long run. But hey, I mean, if you're in Connecticut and selling a car that's not, uh, insanely expensive, well, let me know. <laughs> All right now I'm looking at like a Toyota RAV, something or other RAV4 maybe from 2002 or something like that, and an out uh, Subaru Outback. I'm not sure what items to get as this guy. It's been a while. Um, can't go wrong with the crowbar and the teddy bear. Sorry about any background noise. Uh, my partner is also sick right now, and uh, I think they might be just above me, but they said they were going to bed, so I'm guessing just had to go to the bathroom or something. They are coughing up a storm, too. They got some um, interesting symptoms along with it. Started getting a red rash and stuff, but we're both on antibiotics different kinds for some reason. Um, I guess just throwing everything at the wall and hoping something sticks. <laughs> That's my bet. I went to the same doctor, same urgent care, and I went with them. So, I don't know. So, how do I get rid of... I don't remember what this does. Oh, I think it like, heals me. Something. And it gets rid of that. Alright. Um, ukulele. Can't really 
really go wrong with the guillotine. Alright, it's been three minutes. I think I can uh, hold out for a little while longer. speed might be good. I don't remember how a lot of uh, this character works, like at all. I don't know if I can check here. I don't want to press too many buttons. Talking upstairs. I think that might be. We've been waiting on a call back from the dealership about the cars because they were repairing them. They weren't ready yet. And it's been just over a week. So I'm hoping to hear back very soon. Another item. I like being able to just one shot everything. I want to keep doing that, so I'm going to keep going for crowbars and. Oh no. Um. Ukulele. Why not? I like it. I honestly don't remember him being able to dish out, dish out this much damage early on, but it might be because I'm not on Monsoon and because they are... I have uh, the... Um, Swarms artifact on and crowbars. Could be all sorts of reasons why I'm destroying everything right now. I don't think leeching seed is amazing on him, but it doesn't hurt to try out some things. Crowbar definitely seems to be helping a lot, though. Just being able to one-tap everything. Nice. Uh, I did record a very shitty little video um, of something I've been doing while I was sick. I finally went back and I started painting. I think I just heard a door close. I'm waiting to see if someone's coming downstairs. Again, it doesn't seem like it. But I started painting all my Warhammer minis again. And uh, I finally settled on a general color scheme. I made a really cool dark purple steel iron kind of color. As well as a... Um, a... Drowned flesh, kind of blue. Um, well, for my plague marines and all that. And I started painting the Foded Blow Drone. I think that's how you pronounce it. Hopefully, I'm right. Let's see here. Some movement speed wouldn't hurt. 
but I was showing that off, but the video is kind of terrible, so I'm a little hesitant to uh, post that. I haven't even really looked at it, to be honest. I just know that it's bad, because I was sick, I coughed in it, and I was just recording myself with my phone in my room. So it wasn't that great. <laughs> Skyrim on uh, her sister's uh, PlayStation in the VR, and uh, they had a lot of tracking issues, and it gave them a headache. So they're just putting something downstairs. Now they're going to bed. Although I just mentioned the car, so hopefully they can find more information about that while they are walking around. Jeez, that's a lot of what if those things are. Very interesting enemies. More crowbars. If you know what to build as a Void Fiend, let me know. Or if you have a build that you really like um, with any character. Any interesting, fun builds that you don't see used often or you came up with. Mention it down below, and uh, maybe I'll give it a shot next time I play and record it. Because I know I, uh, I streamed this for a little bit, and I met a, um, a big a big streamer for uh, Risk of Rain 2. She just popped into my uh, stream, and we were talking and playing, and uh, it was interesting. Apparently she makes a lot of guides and stuff. And it seems like the Risk of Rain 2 community is actually rather big and um, lively. At least it seemed like it. Okay, I swear there was something of interest around here. But I guess there was nothing in this void area. That's a shame. All right, well, let's move on over here. I forgot how you can charge that. Um, I feel like the launcher might be good. Shrine of the Mountain over there. I feel like it might be. Oh no, crap. Oops. Yeah, I need hope of feathers. Can't wait for the next expansion of sorts for this game. I'm really hoping that they don't stop development anytime soon. It's been waiting for more characters for a while now. It takes longer than you'd think. Probably a lot of quality assurance testing and stuff. And all sorts of other content that they might be adding along with it. Seems like they don't want to just release a character by itself that often. Which I can't blame them. Although I don't know if they're... I think they're continuing development on the game, just... After the last update, not as much. Oh, no. That's a altar of gold. Not too interested. Yeah, I'm interested in that, though. Alright, let's get out of here. I think I want to go this way. Well, alright then. And 
this over there. Oh boy. Let's get a hope of feather. Lots of items dropping all of a sudden. Energy drink. Speed up a little bit here. Hmm. And one thing that streamer taught me, um, calling them that streamer because I don't remember their name. I think it's like Katrina or something. But, uh, is that you can get that scrap. And if you get five green scrap, you can get a free legendary item every time you go to the blue altar. Okay, looks like I want to get some gasoline. favorite item to build in this game is gasoline because it just it kills everything and then after they added the ignition tank it's just that much better and if you get the um, voodoo doll then I mean the game pretty much plays itself it's kind of ridiculous it's not the most fun thing to build, but uh, it's still pretty great. And completely unrelated to this game, um, while I was sick, I did watch movies. And I just wanted to mention that if you haven't seen them, the movie Violent Night is a lot of fun and absolutely better than better than Die Hard, in my opinion. I hate Die Hard. I'm not gonna be real with you. I fucking hate that movie. It's terrible, and I stand by that. But, um, Violent Night is a lot of fun. It's goofy, it's gory, it's, it's terrible, but in a good way. And it's gonna be an instant Christmas cl classic for me. Um, but beyond that, I also watched Avatar in theaters while I was sick. It was really stupid of me. I wore a mask and all that stuff and I wasn't sitting close to anybody besides uh, my partner. So, it's fine. <laughs> okay, it wasn't fine. Don't do what I do. Be smarter. But still, I saw it in theaters, watched it in 3D, and uh, spent way too much money on the tickets. But we did get reclining seats with uh, heated seats on top of all of it. And it was, um, you know, I went in expecting an absolutely terrible movie that would just be a slog and um, it would take forever to get through. And I was wrong. It was actually really good. I, I have talked to a couple people who hate it, but. I can wholeheartedly recommend it. If you like the first one, you'll love the second one. Especially if you appreciate animation and, um... If you like... I don't know what the, uh, the term for it, it would be, but... Um... Sci-fi zoology. I guess. Like, I already love, you know, animals, nature. Um, biology. And, you know, watching the fantasy ideas they've come up with. It's just uh, very interesting. A lot of fun. Kind of makes me want to play Subnautica a little bit, too. <laughs> Alright, still looking for the rest of these uh, void seeds.
guess, and they're over here. All right. Another Hopu Feather. Also increase the radius, but I am wrong about that. Gasoline is the only one that increases its own radius. Alright, ooh yay. Here we go. What am I gonna get from this one? Let's grab the key. That way I can have infinite keys. do. <sighs> that one doesn't seem like it's a good one. I don't know what that's associated with. Full health enemies detonate on hit crypts all will-o'-wisp. Another encrusted key, because why not? lens. I thought I had more sunglasses. Interesting. Alright, let's get out of here now. Where is the exit? There it is. what's been causing it, but for some reason lately, when I double tap control, this weird circle appears on my screen. Didn't mean to do that, but I'll take another key. Artifacts does make the game a little too easy sometimes. Probably depending on the character. It's like playing the captain. I suck so much as a captain that it helps, but only a tiny bit. The captain is definitely my least favorite. I like his style. That's about it. I want to like him, but, uh, eh. I will admit it's mostly my own fault for how bad I am with him, but he also does seem underpowered compared to all the other heroes, characters in this game. Let's just grab this real quick. Will-O-Wisp, why not? Void Scent Flame. this map. Like, I like the look of it, but I hate how big and vertical it is. It's just annoying. Don't mind 
if I do and just get a key to replace it even though I have a bunch of keys already It'll take a chance to collapse enemies on hits. All right, let's look for the legendary chest. That's over there. Perfect. So I know where it is. And let's take Gore's Tome for the extra gold. be too tanky. I got picked up on the recording or not, but I just did it again, that damn circle. Um, attack speed, why not? Let's see how much this is going to cost. Probably a good amount. No, my money. Oh. Alright, what do I want? This is going to be a tough one. I mean, there's so many good options here. I mean, a free revive is always nice. It's one of the most boring options, but it's safe. Alright, now that I got the legendary, I can safely make my way out of this one. So I'm just kind of getting random, random shit, really. Oh yeah, I can get more Void Scrap so I can get the uh, free Legendary every time I go through the blue portal. If I just get two more. Too late to get the blue portal, isn't it? It might be, it might not be, I'm not sure. Can you buy the blue portal after you've already defeated the boss?
I guess I can always try. And now I just gotta find the blue portal. The lunar shrine. It's not up there. Sit in here. Nope. Could be down here. I don't remember everywhere that it can be. Don't know too much about this map. And it's any Easter eggs or secrets it might have. All I know is that I'm probably Shadow Lock and I just saw it. There it is. Nope, I can't get it now. Damn. All right. Okay, well, I think I'm just going to try to go kill the boss and finish this up, because I don't want to be playing this forever, as fun as it is. How long am I going to spend on this one? Probably not long at all. I think I'm just going to look around for Shrines of the Mountain, and if I don't see any, then I will just move on. I think I heard an item drop. There, there it is. Um, attack speed, why not? Just because I feel like I'm going to need it, I'm going to start taking some more fuel cells. I'm not seeing any shrines of the mountain. Which is odd, usually there's quite a few on this one. Oh, there's one. Teens are probably going to be useful. Oh boy. Crowbar. Crowbar. And crowbar. So now my default damage should be equivalent to a critical strike. If I remember correctly. Oh boy. Exits this way. Oh man, there's an item down there. <clears throat> All right, then. <laughs> 
That was nice, quick, and easy. So I want start stacking some attack speed. I want to go get that item, but at the same time, I don't want to go down there. I think there's a way back up down there, though. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Critical strikes increase attack speed. I don't think I have critical strikes. That often, but I think I just got some. Never mind. I take that back. And I want to try. I know I said I was gonna get like all sorts of different things here, but berserkers, pauldrons. I thought there was a way back up over here, but I was wrong. There's nothing, there's only like one item that increases jump height, right? I think that's the, um, the legendary item. And the Hopu Feather, which technically does increase jump height, but... In a roundabout, in a roundabout way, it does. All right, let's go. Just slowing me down and hurting me for some unknown reason. Now if I do it up the stairs like this, yeah, that didn't didn't really help too much. This form it's a lot more helpful for getting around like that. If I can get different equipment, I can skip past all of the um, crap down here, but that's only if someone drops special equipment. Or if I take it beforehand, it's the wormhole. You can just set a wormhole all the way up there. You can skip all of the um, Pillar crap. And I think they just dropped equipment. Alright. Now I just gotta see if I can aim it up there just right. I have to go farther away, which means I'm going to lose my equipment, but I think I can get by without this, or without it, at least, maybe. Okay. 
perfect. Oh shit. And... Pretty sure you're able to go through here. Yep. Here we are. fight two of them. So far, so good. I think I've killed one of them so far. There we go. Next phase. Too close for comfort. Come on. Thank goodness, thank goodness I got all these help with feathers. Okay, I wanted to save those, but. So, okay. Oh, shit. a chance. Yeah, this was a little too easy with all of these artifacts on, but I still came really close to dying, embarrassingly so. Um, okay. Void creatures. So dangerous. Freaking instant kills and stuff. Alright, here we go. Final stretch. Should be extremely easy to get past this part. 
but we'll see. but I know that's not worth it. I just want to get out of here. Successful mission, successful run through, a little too easy because of the artifacts, so maybe next time I record I won't do that, but yet again, if you have any special builds that you really like with any particular character, let me know, and I'll try it out in a video, maybe, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one, Bye bye